Hello guys, my name is Vivek and today in this video I am going to describe you about working of an electronic fan regulator. Okay, an electronic fan regulator looks like this. We have been commonly seeing this in fan control, fan speed control mechanisms. Okay, so I will be discussing how the internal circuit of this regulator works actually. Okay, so let's start. Here is uh, some points that I am going to discuss in this video ahead. We are going to discuss about conventional regulator. Then we will know about diode, then SCR and thyristor or the same thing. And then we will discuss about diac and triac. And finally, we will then move to the main circuit of the electronic fan regulator. So let's start. This is what you are seeing is a conventional fan regulator. The circuit is very simple. You can see that uh, a 220 volt AC supply is given okay so the current begins to flow from here and we have a knob this is an adjustable knob you have been uh, see you have must seen the uh, conventional regulator the old days regulators that were big and lumped one and they had a switch which can be controlled so this is one this is the circuit of the same there is some series connected resistance that can be adjusted so this by moving this switch we can uh, adjust the resistance across this single phase induction motor or fan okay so we can actually adjust the value of current so these resistors are there in series by moving the knob to various positions like one two three four five we can set the amount of resistance that we want across the fan the more the resistance the less will be the current across the fan and thus the speed will reduce and uh, the in same manner if i put the switch to five so the current will follow this path see it will flow through this and then the switch is as it is here it will not move to any of this resistance and it will directly move to the fan and the fan will work at the maximum speed so this was the this was the idea or uh, behind the conventional regulator the main disadvantage of this regulator is that it causes huge amount of heat loss or i square r loss okay because there are a number of resistors and that causes heat loss across the resistors and eventually this reduces the life of uh, this regulator and also it affects your electricity bill so that's why electronic regulators are now in fashion now before going ahead we will need, we need to understand about what is diode a very simple device this is a semiconductor uh, diode is nothing but a two terminal device here the there is two terminal there are two terminals positive and negative the positive terminal is also known as anode while the negative one is called cathode okay when it is when this is when this device is connected across a voltage source and positive voltage positive voltage is applied to positive side and negative is applied to negative side so this diode behaves like a short circuit okay and it causes a flow of current ideally there is some resistance present over here okay to protect the diode but we can say that uh, it is almost a short circuit so if positive source if the positive uh, side of the battery or the voltage source is connected to positive and negative is connected to negative the current flows but if the polarity is reversed across the diode that is positive is connected to negative side and negative is connected to positive side of the diode what will happen the current will not flow current does not flow okay and it will behave like an open circuit in this case it behaves like a short circuit in this case it like behaves like an open circuit in when it behaves like a short circuit the same mode is called forward bias current mode and in the negative uh, when it is connected negatively across the negative voltage it is called reverse bias mode okay so current flows for forward bias and current does not flow for neg uh, reverse bias okay now we have just learned about diode now we see that diode works for uh, uh, when the voltage across it is positive okay so keeping that in mind what is a diac diac is nothing you can see there is there are two sets of diodes which are connected anti parallelly what is meaning of anti parallel both the polarity of the diode is complementing each other that is opposite to each other 
so what is the advantage of such a device like if you connect this device to an ac source where the voltage is alternating okay the voltage gets positive uh, uh, for a positive half and then it gets negative for the second half in such a for such a voltage source what happens if we if we take the first half the voltage that is applied is positive across this diode and negative across this diode so this diode conducts for one half and in the other half when the voltage applied is negative here and positive here so this diode works then and this diode remains off in this manner we get output for the full cycle of an ac voltage i will show you over here let us consider this as the diode one d1 and this as the diode d2 so how this works this is the ac source voltage okay you know that it is an alternating voltage source okay so for the positive half this one is d1 and this is d2 so for the positive half okay when the voltage applied is positive to d1 so d1 conducts while the d2 is off this this is the graph of d1 this is the graph of d2 so for d uh, for the first half d1 is conducting while d2 is non conducting okay in the second half again because the voltage across d1 is negative so it remains off while d2 conducts in again the next half the d, d, d1 is positive while d2 is again negative so it remains off while d1 conducts and in the again the next half d1 is negative while d2 is positive okay so in this manner you can see that when d1 is conducting d2 is off when d, d1 is again non conducting d2 is conducting so in this manner they conduct uh, alternatively and eventually what we see at the output is this one that is for a ac source voltage we get a full wave full wave dc voltage okay of course you can say that it is similar to that of full bridge rectifier where two diodes are connected just like the similar fashion okay and each diode conducts for one half okay so this is the advantage that instead of using a diode we can use a uh, use a diac where in diode we get only one half the next half is off then then uh, we get positive voltage in the next half and then the second half is one eventually 50% of the power we cannot utilize in that diode which can be utilized efficiently in case of a diac okay so this is the all about diac now we will uh, look at scr what is scr the full form of scr is silicon controlled rectifier or what it is called is uh, what we can say is a controllable diode here you can see that i have drawn a uh, a diode it is similar to diode okay here also there are two terminals positive is called anode negative is called cathode but apart from all these two terminals there is one more terminal that is called gate how this works as you know in case of diode that when positive voltage is applied to anode and negative to cathode the current flows while for reverse it doesn't work the same applies for scr except for one more thing is that for conduction of this uh, scr we need one more thing that the voltage should be positive across this uh, this anode and cathode and the next thing that we need to do is that we need to supply this gate until and unless the gate is supplied there will be no current flowing through the scr we will see this in next one so see let us consider that for first half the voltage is positive across anode and negative across cathode okay the, the positive terminal is connected to anode and negative is connected to cathode so this is normal working of a diode the diode will start conducting but scr will not until and unless this one this gate terminal that has been shown over by g it is supplied to a voltage source okay so you see that there is a battery connected with a switch okay so we need to close this switch in order to conduct in order to make this uh, scr conduct what is the advantage of such a switch okay so let us see in this graph so this is a graph showing the normal working of a diode what is the normal working of a diode a diode conducts for 
full positive cycle while doesn't conduct for full negative cycle okay so we have no control of the of the voltage now if i let us uh, let us consider that i want voltage only at this peak point okay and not for the whole cycle for some reasons there we can use the scr how scr works it is similar to diode you can see that it conducts only for positive half not for negative half so what happens that we can control the output voltage over here how let us consider that the positive voltage has been applied but we are not giving the gate voltage now okay the gate is not the gate has not been supplied so current will not flow at a certain instant as i said that i only want voltage when the the peak i only want the current uh, the, uh, through this scr when there is a peak voltage okay so i can just at the peak voltage i can put the switch of s1 off okay that is i will close this s1 switch and what will happen that the gate terminal will be connected to this voltage source so that will what it will cause that it will now the scr will behave like a short circuit the scr will begin its conduction okay so at the peak point i am closing the switch and it i am getting this amount of voltage only so you will so you can understand that here we cannot control the amount of voltage that is required here we can control the amount of average voltage that we want okay similarly uh, one more instance has been shown that the switch is closed at some point of time say theta 3 okay so after supplying voltage when the voltage is reaching at this point at the same moment we are closing the switch s1 the voltage vg is applied to the gate okay and it will start conducting so this is the behavior of an scr and that's why it is more uh, more reliable than a diode now what is a triac similarly triac is a controllable diac okay here you can see that the, the, we have learned about diac, we have learned about diac, we have learned about SCR, and this is a combination of all these things. You can see that this is a triac only, except for the fact that there is a gate terminal. So you can understand that we can have a the diac and we can have a voltage controllability, okay, through this gate. Similarly, similar to the case of SCR and this control is eventually carried out by a diac okay which is connected here in case of fan regulator or in case of any application triac gate is gear is connected to a diode diac it is because a gate voltage always need to be need to be in positive okay that is there should always be a positive pulse not a negative pulse for a negative pulse there is no output okay so positive pulse must be applied and that's why a diac is used which can give a full positive pulse for ac uh, ac input okay if the input is ac over here the output from here will be a dc one a full dc and that is applied to the gate terminal okay now let us move to the main circuit here is the main circuit of electronic fan regulator you can see okay so how this actually works you see there is a uh, the, the the supply has been given which is 230 volt at 50 hertz the fan is connected one terminal is connected to the uh, this voltage source another is connected to the whole regulator circuitry this portion is known as the regulator circuit okay so i will be discussing about this regulator circuit and how it works okay now say voltage has been applied and the current is flowing through this okay it will flow through this resistor and here is the potentiometer what is the potentiometer the, reg the regulator knob that we control is called the potentiometer okay so let us consider that it has been fixed at some point okay so what will happen the current will flow from this point and this point and it will not flow from this point why because the gate has still not been supplied we can see we we assume that the gate has not been supplied and as the gate has not been supplied there will be no flow of current through here it is similar to that of scr so eventually what we are doing that the current is flowing through here through resistor then 
to this R2 resistor which can be controlled. Okay. So now if I adjust the value of R2 to certain value, what will happen? The current will flow from here, then it will charge this capacitor. For the positive half, what will happen? It will charge the capacitor and the capacitor will be plus charged on this plate and negatively charged over here. Okay. So when once it is fully charged, when the capacitor will fully charge, it will now discharge through this diac in the negative half cycle of the AC. So what will happen? The that it will discharge through this one. Okay. So it will start conducting from here. The diac will again uh, control the gate current of this triac and the triac will activate it will behave like a short circuit the current will now not flow through this part but will flow through this part up to the time the capacitor is discharging it is supplying current to the diac and then to the triac and the fan circuit will be completed through triac you see the fan load then the triac gate is active so triac behaves like a short circuit and the current will flow now once the capacitor gets discharged there will be no current through the diac the triac gate circuit will be off and again the fan will start uh, charge the, the capacitor will again start charging through this path and the whole cycle will again go on now what we are adjusting through this knob through this knob we are adjusting the time for charging of this capacitor the more the, the value of this resistance we adjust through this knob the less will be current flowing through the capacitor and the less the current flowing through the capacitor the much more amount of time it will take to charge and this is called the time constant of the, capa of the capacitor so by uh, controlling this resistance we are actually controlling the current flowing through the capacitor for charging and eventually we are controlling the time constant the more it will take time to charge the more it will take time to charge it will uh, more take time to discharge also and eventually it will send triac firing pulses very low okay that is for a very low amount of time and eventually the fan speed will drop now if the if this uh, resistance is has been kept to a very low position what will happen the more we allow current to flow through this capacitor because resistance has been at the low position so much more current will flow through the capacitor and it will charge and discharge very fastly the more it charges and discharges fastly the more we see the pulses to appear within one second at the triac, a triac gate and it will more behave like a short circuit and we will get output very fastly the average voltage across the motor of this fan will increase and we will get much more speed now if the if the resistance if the regulator is as adjusted to zero position that is at, at the at the maximum position what will happen the current will not flow through the capacitor the capacitor will be feebly or low or not charged at all and it will not force current through diac not force current through triac and even though connected to positive terminal uh, posi even though connected positively the triac will not conduct okay because the third element that is the gate is not supplying the gate is not uh, supplying current and eventually the fan will stop okay so this is all about the working of an electronic fan regulator so i hope you have liked me my video Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and my blog, The Electrical Engineer. The link of this blog has been given in the description also. And I will, uh, I will uh, write up a blog about this electronic fan regulator in more precise way there. So you can also read about that and keep a note of the same. Okay. So thanks for watching once again. And do not forget to subscribe and share this video. Share the blog with your friends. So thanks for watching. And this is Vivek Chauvis signing off. Thank you.